I apologize for the following video. I shot it with a microphone far too hot. The editing is a mess. All my takes are atrocious. My Windows 10 screen recording is atrocious. But the content, the content is still good in this video. So if you want to learn about XFAT, watch this horribly made video that I completed even though it's garbage. I made a video in the past about formatting thumb drives, you know, the right way, the Linux way, and I recommended using NTFC for large capacity thumb drives. Since making that video, I've actually been using Windows with, you know, family members. I even picked up a cheap hard drive specifically so I could put Windows on it and see how it worked. And turns out, I was super wrong. We're gonna use a format known as XFAT. XFAT is something I did not know about for like the longest time. Found out about it. It supports high capacity like NTFC, but it, in a lot of ways it feels superior and a lot faster. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to make a universal XFAT thumb drive. They'll run in, I believe, every OS? As someone who uses Linux and everyone else I know uses Windows, I've made mistakes on formatting things in a way that's very compatible. But I've learned about XFAT. Now a lot of you are probably like, oh yeah, I know XFAT, but as a Linux user, it rarely came up. So if you're in my situation and you want to understand the magic of XFAT, we're going to go over that real quick. And I have my little thumb drive that I need to format for uh, a family member. And I have a Windows laptop that I could actually test the finished product on. So step one, we take our thumb drive and we stick it in our, our little port. It's going to pop up as a blank. That's why I named it last time I did this. Sudo LSBLK. This going to show us all of our loops in our partitions. This one is the blank one. It's going to be at the end, SDB. So sudo um, f disk uh, dev sd sdb. And that's going to be the, the, the main part, not the partition. It's that, that drive versus partition. But we want to f disk that entire drive. So we can print and see what's available. There is one partition on there. We can D, which if there's more than one partition, it'll ask you which one, but there's only one, so delete. We can print again, and it'll say there's nothing there. Then we can make a new partition. Now we want to make a primary partition, now, but we're only going to do one because it's a thumb drive. Um, partition number one, enter, enter, enter. Would you like to remove the signature? Now this drive at one point was a bootable drive, and we're going to remove the signature to make it bootable and W to write. Take a second, boom. But now we need to format it. sudo mkfs.xfat. Let's look at the, uh, the quick little guide here. There's not much here. It's a lot faster than using NTFC or Win32, but it has all the features we want. We definitely want to label it. So I'm gonna label it movie. Yeah, just point to the device. DB1, the first partition. Done. That's how fast it works. Now you pop this sucker out, pop it back in, and lo and behold, there's our freshly formatted thumb drive. The Windows 10 machine I'm gonna be used to test this is actually my old X230 that I put a cheap $19 SSD in and slapped a copy of Windows. Okay, so we have our thumb drive. Let's plug this sucker in. Windows has recognized the drive. Let's go to Explorer and a movie. There it is, Evangelon that I've copied for my niece. Totally works in Windows, totally works in Linux. Nice and fast, large file size, uh, capacity 
Yeah, some of those files are pretty big. Let's see. Yeah. 1.7 gigabyte files. No problem for XFAT. It's nice and snappy. It's kind of like the best of both worlds for removal media, I think, because it's got all the flexibility of an NTFS and a extension too, but it's got that compatibility layer. So yeah. So I hope this little guide helps you um, with the whole sharing files and documents with your non Linux user friends and family, like it helped me. And I will catch you guys on the next one.